Shalom, giving our praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Tadika, Bashem, and Kakodash. I wanted to be able to use the book as a song to rise up to last the day. So, in going on over there, some, some kind of theatre or fear grand going on over there. He's going to come out and just fire up this place here with some troops. Lick, lick, lick out some precepts, taking some fresh air, the little bit of fresh air that, the, that we got. Got the Edomites them up there still right now, firing up their chemtrails. But we're gonna fire up some truth out here, some truth and justice and some lasers of truth, man. It's that time today, it's that day the day's all right, I should say. The weather looks not too bad. It's kind of nice and fresh. It's a nice day to be out in the open, man, you know. Just say that. So a little bit of sightseeing, bringing out some precepts, or maybe just quoting some precepts. Going in the spirit, whatever comes to mind, man. She's fresh, fresh, exciting. It's fresh, fresh. Yeah, it's very fresh today. The park is kind of, you know, it's got that fear ground over there. I don't want to go over there. It's too much noise going on. Isaiah 24. Too much mirth, man. Fake mirth. That's what it really is. It's fake. Artificial mirth because people ain't really happy, they're just um, they're just trying to stir up some fake mirth because really they're miserable. A lot of them know their kingdom is coming to an end. Anything to deny the fact that the, their world is coming to an end, anything to, to forget. Some people go crazy and go raving and go murphing it up to try and deny the truth. Some people take class A drugs, class B drugs. Some people sip, sip on the yarn yarn over the top with it. They go over the top with it, they get drunk with it. Where, where there's nothing really wrong with sipping your wine, your yarn yarn wrong with that but if you're doing it all going all OTT then there's something wrong with that yeah so we're just gonna take in some sightseeing some some kind of scenery Subconsciously saying goodbye, really. Saying goodbye to Satan's kingdom. That's what we're doing. Saying goodbye to Satan's kingdom. Because they're going to be a. There's a paradigm shift taking place. There is a paradigm shift taking place. For those that you may be at work at the moment. Sometimes I like to bring in the scenery, bring in some scenery. It's actually good for your eyes, man. Space and breathing, good scenery. <laughs> you can get a little glimpse of, it, little glimpses of it, even in this king kingdom now and then. If you if you travel a bit, you know we're pushing, we're pushing, getting out there, and broadening your horizons. My you know, brothers are pushing that a bit more, you know, that like getting out, broadening your horizons, widening out. You know, you can do that spiritually as well. You know, when we go into the, we go into the prophecies. When you go into the prophecies, you can do. You're going, you know, you're broadening out the history too. The current events, 
you know we're gonna we're gonna bring out some of them one or two little things today you know lord willing yahara ratazar abba ratazar you know here the birds in my chime to they they agree the birds in my sink today yeah man we're gonna hit some presets today man you know further bring this place down playing our playing our part you know playing our our role in the movie to bring this place down man you know because to me to me it's like they've they've um overstepped their boundaries a little you know the goyim and the heathens they've overstayed their welcome man but you know this is the most size movie you know But you know what I've realised? This park seems to be getting smaller, man. <laughs> this park. You know, I'm going to start hitting some bigger places, you know. But this park, this place is getting too small for me, man. I need a, You know, there's a place I've got not too far from me. You know, I'm going to start going there, man. I like, I like space. I like fields and fields and fields. You know? Lord willing, you know, we're gonna be doing all that, man. Traveling, fields and fields and space and fresh air and largening your horizon, broadening your horizons. You know, this place is a prison, man. I remember, I remember going to loads and loads of places, man. Traveling, you know, when I was, you know, when I was, a, when, when my item was at my knee, you know, a little bit younger. I used to go up to a lot of places. Ramsgate. I, mean, I remember going to Ramsgate. Margate. Margate's not that far. Um, Blackpool. Been to Blackpool. Been to Brighton. Been to Wells. Uh, there's other places, you know, too. I can't remember. Been, um, you know, I want to start moving around again, man. Other places, um, I remember the first place I went <laughs> was in London. The first place I was young was the zoo, Ch Chessington Zoo. I remember that place. But Wells, uh, where else? Um, there's a place near Scotland, man. It might come back to me. But the place that even this world, what's left of it, what he hasn't fucked up, is still all right. Let me bring out a preset. Let's do some nice little spots. Little chill, chill, chill spots where you can go to chill and take your time, take your time out. You know, your whole shy did that. He did that. You know, he did that while he was on the earth, man. A couple of times he did that. He took time away, time out. You know? So let me hit some presets, man. The power and spirit of Yahweh Shimon Shah, man. <sighs> yes, man. Yeah, the Psalms. The Psalms kind of reaffirm the way I'm feeling right now. This particular one, the way I'm feeling right now, you know, through the spirit. Psalms 149. Yes, man. To start from, start from the top. Praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song. Yeah, praising the most high. We're out here now, man. We're other people there doing their mirth. They're trying to lie to themselves, deceive themselves, acting like they like what they, they're enjoying themselves. They're not. They're not. You know, you know what the, the bottom line is? If you ain't, if you ain't worshiping the most high, your whole body, you're shy, you ain't got no future. Y'all are going to be sleeping with dogs, you know, like I said earlier, taking some form of drugs, some stimulant, going crazy in the fairgrounds and going to the theatre in the cities, drinking up the alcohol, the yarn yarn, taking it to another level, getting drunk, falling out on the streets, legless, getting shit faced. That's what the heathens got to look forward to. You know, at the weekend, get shit faced, man. I got shit faced the other day. It was murder. I saw it. I was on the floor. I vomited right near the train, man. 
and I rolled over in it. It was fucking beautiful. I loved it. I got shit for it. You see, <laughs> that's what they, that's what they, the heathens and all the guy and them, you know, you got the, you got Elam doing the same thing too. Amnon doing the same thing too. Moab, they all, you know, follow after Esau, innit? You want to get shit faced. Get tattoos. Get tattoos on your skin, you think? You know, you know, I've got little Jake's doing that too. You know, f folly. You know, my people are foolish, man. My people are sottish, sottish children. Getting caught up in this wicked world of energy of this wicked vibration. But that's why, you know. Let me let, me let the, let me bring it out. I've got to bring it out, man. Psalms 149 and 1 says, Praise ye the Lord, sing unto the Lord a new song, and his praise in, to, in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Be joyful in your king. These people, they got, they got their dogs. Buy a dog, die alone. <laughs> you know, Kevin Samuels, you know. That's what they've got. They've got their dogs. A lot of them ain't got relationships. The, the relationships are on the rocks, most of them. You know. So what they got, they got their dogs. They buy their dogs to keep them company, to keep them, you know, keep them from committing suicide. Come to, they're, not, they're not in our life. You understand? But contrary to that, we've got some things, man. We've got something to live, to look forward to. Yes, man. Let them praise the name. And I might just bring out this preset for the day because I think, I don't know, bring out the, some of these little, you know, hit, up, hit, hit this place up with these, these psalms, man. Bore it up like Strina. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them sing praises unto him with the tambourine and the harp, man. Yeah. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Right, the how up by Kenya was shy. That's what we're joyful in. That's what we we um we murph in. We are um submerge ourselves in the joy and the hope. Yeah? And we're waiting for that day. We're waiting for that day, man. Psalms is it um 83? Or is it Isaiah? Isaiah Isaiah 63, I think it is, when he's gonna come back, man. His feet are gonna be basked in blood, you know. If I'm not mistaken, it's Isaiah. I might be look at that later. Go into that, but um, yes, man, this, this is a fitting precept. You know, bring out right now. For the Lord taketh pleasure in His people; He will beautify the meek with salvation. Yeah, man. So be meek, be humble, bask in the glory and the hope that you have. You're unique. You, you you are unique. Even even the two thirds, the one thirds, even they're unique. They you you unique because they they also even with their even in their own foolishness, their own stupidity, they're gonna come back, man. You know, they're gonna come back. You know, with their heads down. You know, when I'm doing a video, you always got people walking walking around smiling. Oh, all right. I smile at them, I don't mind, but sometimes, you know, sometimes I don't feel like smiling, man, you know. I smile, they want you to smile on their terms, I smile on my fucking terms, man. You understand? Fuck all them. Fuck that shit, man. You know. Depends on what kind of mood I'm in, though, you know. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, he will beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory, let them sing aloud upon their beds. And if they're so fucking polite and so fucking nice, Go back, go to the yard and bring all that fucking gold what you got under the fucking in your fucking uh, your lofts what you stole from Jake. Bring out the gold and the, all the money what you got in the safe if you, if you like Jake so much. You always fucking smiling with us. Go and give back all the things that you've stolen and see see if, how much you'd be smiling then. But we're gonna spoil you. We're gonna spoil you anyway. Fake fucking smiles. Hate fucking fake fake ass motherfuckers, man. Just smiling for the sake of it. Let the saints be joyful in their glory. Let them sing upon, aloud upon their beds. And I, I smile, I smile when I think about you. How about Shimura Shai, man? And when he gives us, <laughs> uh, you know, when he gives us those new bodies, I'll be smiling, man. I'll be smiling every fucking, every second, every tenth of a second, I'll be smiling, man. I'll be thinking about what I'm going to be doing. 
when I wake up in the morning, what I'm going to do to the heathens today? What I'm going to do today to the, to the heathens? How much pain am I going to inflict on the heathens today when I get them new bodies, man? And your whole shy, don't get it twisted, your whole shy is, is, is the same. You know, Isaiah 47 and 3, man. He say, hey, he come back, he ain't going to meet us as a man. He ain't going to meet them as a man, man. All the wicked heathens. Let the saints be joyful. So, yeah, that's why I'm bringing out these precepts. Because it reminds you, puts you in that. You come out of your yard and see a ugly person. <laughs> a ugly woman. I hate to see that shit, man. That's fucked up. I don't like that. Fucking world is ugly, man. But let me carry on reading. Let the, let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. Right. Two-edged sword, man. I'll be smiling with that in my hand, I'll tell you that. Thinking what I'm going to do it, do with it. I'm going to use it. And who's going to get it today? Who's going to get sliced today? I'll be smiling, man. Yeah, when he, he gives us teeth. Yeah? Teeth represents power. Yeah? When he gives us teeth, Isaiah 41. And, um, yeah, that chapter, Isaiah 41. It says, fear not, O worm Jacob. I will give you, make you a, sh a sharp, threshing instrument. You're going to give us teeth, which is power. Yeah? Spiritual power, man. We're going to be thrashing. Understand? Let the praises of God be in their mouth and the two-edged sword in their hand. I'll be smiling with that. With that. I'll be smiling with that. Every time I, I use it, I put it down, I pick it back up again. <laughs> Not for long. I ain't going to be down for long when I put it down. That two-edged sword to execute vengeance upon the heathens and punishment upon the people. Yeah, that fucking smiley walking past and smiling. Man. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all the all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Yeah, man. This honor. This that's an honorable thing. Yeah, this honor have all his saints. So that is an honorable thing, man. There's a judgment on the wicked with the two-edged sword. That's an honorable thing, man. Thus saith the Lord. Yeah. Yeah, this, this is the one. I didn't have this, this wasn't in the program, but I'm gonna bring it out. Although I feel good, it's a nice day today. When that woman smiled, she, she kind of put it put me off a little bit. <laughs> I'm like, I hate all that shit, man. I hate that bullshit, man. Isaiah, let me let me bring it out, man. Isaiah 63 and one. We're gonna start from one. Says, "Who is he that cometh from Eden with dyed garments from Bezra? This is his glory. In his apparel." traveling in the greatness of his strength i that speak in righteousness mighty to save wherefore art thou ready in thine apparel and thine garment like him that treadeth in the in the wine press in the wine fat treadeth in the wine fat and have trodden the wine press alone of the people there was none with me for i will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments and I will stain all my remnant. Right, man? That represents judgment. That represents vengeance. That represents what's going to be happening to them. Yeah? What's going to be happening to the heathen? Heathens, man. It represents death. Right? For the day of vengeance... Let me carry on. He says it. For the day of vengeance is in my heart and the year of my redeemed is come. Yeah, man. That's the feeling that come upon me sometimes. I mean, you know, when people, sometimes people put you in a bad mood, you know, that's, that's the preacher that come to my mind. When people put you in a bad mood, man. You know, you're in um, good company. When you when you wake up in the morning and you walk out your house, you see, you see that the fucking world, what it's like. Even though it might be a nice day, the Kim Chols are still up there. The woman, them, uh, they're all, Yum and left, used up, and a lot of them are fake as hell. You understand? 
So that's the kind of preset that comes to mind. There's a lot. There's a lot that come to mind, but uh, that's the one I'm gonna I read out, man. And yeah, I wanna hit up this place with another one. Yeah, just to end off the video. I think enough said. You know, we bore it up again. We killed it again. Yeah, plenty more time to deal with these wicked people. Psalms, you know, with this two-edged sword. Yeah, this, the Bible. Yeah, we're gonna hit them up. We're gonna tear it up. Psalms 50 and two. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God have shined. Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very temptress round about him. That's right. See? That, that, that feeling of fire come up. You know? When you see what's really going on in this world. It's good sometimes, you know, something, some things we don't know what's going on. You know, what they're doing with the pedo, the pedo them in other countries. And there's a lot of rape going on right now over there in um, the Ukraine. Talking about the, the butchering that's going on, the killing and the... Uh, of, they say... It, they say innocent civilians. Well, Job 4 and 7 begs to differ. There's no one that dies innocent. So, Most High is taking action right now. The angels are taking action right now. And it's, and it's only rumors. It's only the beginnings. It's only the pangs of distress. It's, it's not the birth yet, right? Before your whole shire comes. He's just setting the stage. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty. God have shined. Our God shall come and shall not keep silent. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. Enough said. Yeah? You ain't gonna be yeah. when he come, he's gonna be he's gonna be that's it, gonna be the end man. Yeah, I and mean, that's what we're looking forward to. It's kinda getting windy now. I think the vibes out there now. You know, we, we tore it up today, we bore it up with some truth, justice, and righteousness. You know, lasers. Poo, 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 poo. There's another one. I'm gonna bring this one out. Isaiah 7 27 says, Bless be Lord, the Lord of our fathers, which have put such a thing in this in the king's heart to beautify the house of the Lord. Which is in Jerusalem. Here's some prophecy once again, man. And have executed mercy upon, and have executed mercy unto me before the king and his counselors, and before all the king's mighty princes. And and I was strengthened, as at the hand of the Lord my God was upon me, and I gathered together out of Israel chaff, chaff men to go out with me. Yeah, it reminds me of the scriptures in um. Judges chapter 7, you know, that's what it reminds me of, where he selected, selected um, reputable men, combat ready men to go to battle, and 22,000 was rejected, told to go back home, you know, blessed be the Lord of our fathers which have been put such a thing in his in this in the king's heart to, to beautify the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem he's going to do that again that's prophecy talks about he's going to put a crown of righteousness on the, the elect's head man uh, Revelation 22 21 yeah going to clean us up which is happening now on a, lower, on a lower scale beautifying his to be wife again which which Jacob you know Yashua Allah are his wife you know to be once again no longer estranged. It's cleaning us up now, man. It's cleaning us up. Beautifying us, man. As it says in Psalms, um, Psalms 149. Yeah? Beautifying his people. And have extended mercy up upon me before the king and his counselors and before all the king's mighty princes. And as I was strengthened, as the hand of the Lord my God was upon me, and I gathered together out of Israel chief men to go with with go up with me yeah that's a there's a prophetic pattern there because he's gathering right now the hundred and forty four thousand uh you know and they're not gonna be with him man carrying out their duties playing their position you know 
and uh, we always talk about that we always that's our hope that's what we murph in that's what we glorify in and looking forward to your whole try your whole way whole shard return Giving our praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Oh, here's another beautiful precept. I want, we could end with that one, man. Oh, actually, let me bring this one out. Isaiah 49. Yeah. Just putting out this vibration, man. All right, Isaiah 49 and 23 says, And king shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queen thy nursing mothers, and they shall bow down to thee with their faces to the to the face toward the earth and lick up the dust of thy feet and thou shalt know that I am the Lord for thou shalt not be ashamed that wait upon me right I shall not be ashamed that wait upon me yeah does that speak for itself most definitely yeah man so we're gonna boast man as it says in Isaiah Isaiah 60 we're gonna boast in the Lord yeah This one, we can end with this one. We can end with this one. Yeah, the precept to Isaiah 60, this is in Psalms 34 and 1. It says, Psalms of David, when changed his behavior, when he changed his behavior before Amalek, who drove him away and he departed, and while and will bless the Lord. Right. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall there shall hear thereof and be glad. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. So that's a time when you boast. Boast in the Lord. You know, one of my previous videos, man. We're going to boast. Yeah? The righteous, the people of Yahshua Allah shall boast in the Lord. Yes, man. Oh, here's another one to end it off, man. Psalms 100 and Psalms 27. We can go straight to it. Four says, One thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion, in the sacred of his tabernacle shall he hide me, he shall set me upon a rock. Right, he shall, he shall hide me in the, the pavilion, breaks down to be in a safe haven, a place of safety. You know, like when you look at the chariots, or like in massive stadiums when they, um, there's, there's um, kind of outbreaks of volcanoes and hurricanes, you know. They um they use they, a lot of the time they use stadiums to as a refuge place a safe haven for those people that are homeless who are who are in need. Times of flood is the floods in Texas. They did that. They used one of those massive big um stadiums or small stadiums, you know, for people to have refuge to, to sleep overnight. You know. So this is what that represents. In the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. Right, the sacred of his tabernacle shall he hide me, he shall set me upon a rock. And we're gonna eat. This place is crumbling down, Jacob's trouble. But he, scriptures in Isaiah 65 says that my people shall eat, man, and they shall be hungry, my people shall drink, and they shall be thirsty. The heathen shall be thirsty. But Mosai is gonna, um, he's got our backs, man. Yahara Ratazar through the power and spirit of Yahweh Shem Yoshai. All right. For one thing I have desired of the Lord that I will seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord to inquire of his temple right and, and he's beautifying us now man he's beautifying us now like I said cleaning us up separating us from the heathens you know we, we, we hate the ways of the Hindu, of the heathens uh, Proverbs chapter 3 and 31 says envy not the oppressor and we, we, we hate the oppressor, yeah, and his ways, and choose none of his ways. Envy not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. So that's what we do, and he's separating us now, he's cleaning us up. And just the other day, I remember coming home, one of the Sundays, just going in my yard, went in the yard, shut the door, looked back behind me, some 
what looked like an Edomite woman just standing there looking at the the front of my house and just standing there looking. So being the person that I am, I, I opened the door and I said, you all right? Are you, you know, because I was wondering why she's just standing there. I watched her for a couple of seconds and I was just, just standing there looking like that, with her mouth open, just standing there looking. I said, what's wrong? You all right? <laughs> and I kept myself calm, you know. I said, you all right? And she just was looking at my bushes. I got with like a little hedge in a little bush in front of the, you know, like in front of the, the door in front of the house, a little hedge like a little bush. And to me, it just looks like any old bush. And she's just standing there looking. She says, "You look so beautiful." She said that the woman, <laughs> some middle-aged, looked like an Edomite-looking woman, just stood there looking at the hedge. You look so beautiful. I said, "Oh, thanks." I went in the yard. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with her? So. Every time I come out of the yard, I look at it, I'm thinking, boy, what, did she see something that I can't see? And every time I come in the yard, I say, I've got to, I got to do some gardening. And, and, I, and to me, it just don't look, it just looks, it's just there. But for some reason, she sees something that I don't see. She said, it looks so beautiful. And then I'm, when I took a closer look, there's certain flowers that I've never seen before in my garden growing. Like um, lavender-looking flowers, flowers I've never seen before. There's... um. There's um, uh, there's other flowers that um, I'm not familiar with. Yellow, bright-looking yellow flowers. And I said to myself, oh, oh, now I see what she's saying. It does look kind of, you know. There's actually herbs in there in my garden as well. Dandelion herbs. You know, dandelion is a thing where you where you can grow, you know, in certain areas as well. Like even underneath con concrete, you can come through concrete, man. And it's a powerful um, detox very medicinal got a lot of medicinal purpose dandelion herb the root the leaf you see the little yellow thing that grows on top of it you can eat that too you know <laughs> you know people that go out there and they um they do that bush tucker you know they, they, they can explain all that if, you know don't take my word for it just do your research on the dandelion and the medicinal all the medicinal benefits of the dandelion root the green leaf the yellow looking blossom you know so we we've got things in our garden that in that little garden that you may have you've got a lot of herbs in there you, you may not even be aware of and flowers and all kinds of beautiful things and also the conclusion what I came to what the wider woman might have said that is the the most size he's actually he's got angels there doing what they do man whatever they're doing they're doing what they do you know that scripture again i'll read it again you know like i said earlier let me just read it let me just read it man the most high it's got everything this is not our movie this is the most high's movie and we're gonna end with that yeah, you got all these people walking up and down. Some of them look like they really don't know what the fuck to do with themselves, man. In a big open park, big open space, with a mask on. You can see why the Mosai is going to say he's going to all the chaff, the two thirds and all the chaff. Even even Amalek, I agree with what he said, Henry Kissinger, to depopulate the earth. I agree with that, man. Because a lot of these people really, if you're not, there's, there's, a, there's an old saying, if you don't stand for something, <laughs> if, you, if you haven't found something you're willing to die for, is your life worth living? And that's the true saying, man. Psalms 149 and 6 says, Let the, let the high praise of God be in their mouth and the two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and, to, and punish upon the wicked, upon the people. Right, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feet as of iron to execute upon them the judgments written. This honor have I have all the saints praise ye the Lord. Right. The Lord for for the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, he will beautify the meek with salvation. Right. So he's doing that now, you know? Raising us up out of the dung hills, out of the dust, out of the dung, cleaning us up preparing us to be reunited again yeah 
as we're described as, as Israel is described of the wife yeah we united with our husband man so he's beautifying his people and like I say the woman was just there standing up there looking at the garden they're doing something the most are doing something and we men will always be aware of it he can beautify your garden for you you know fire he can beautify your house for you he can beautify anything this is not our movie this is the most size movie so we're going in there that's about it's about that time enough said bore up the place again like strena with troops until the next one akim we out Fresh, fresh, exciting. He's so exciting too. Fresh, fresh, exciting. He's so exciting to me now.